Hey Southeast, this morning in my prayer time, I was in Psalm 20 or uh, Psalm 46, and it's God is our fortress. Now, at the top of this psalm, there's a little heading. It says, To the choir master of the sons of Korah, according to Alamoth, a song. Alamoth seems to be a musical term, but the sons of Korah, that's interesting because there was this time as God was pulling the Israelites out of Egypt as he was moving them from slavery um, out of bondage into the promised land. There was a group of people who were very prideful and, and they tried to, um, I won't get into the whole story, but basically they made a move for power. And, and that pride ultimately destroyed them. There was an earthquake and they ended up dying. And the, the sons of Korah seemed to be in charge of um, looking after the tabernacle, looking after the sanctuary of the temple. Well, they are descendants of this group of people. And so it's interesting because um, we don't know why they wrote, but this psalm in particular and the other psalms that they write, um, I think there's about six of them, are very, have this humble heart um, within them. You can feel the humble, humbleness, the humility that this group of people have. And, and so we come to this and I always try to think like, what do you think the context of this passage was? And in Psalm 46, 1, it says, God is our refuge and strength, the very present help in trouble. Therefore, we will not fear, though the earth gives way, though the mountains be moved into the heart of the sea, though its waters roar and foam, though the mountains tremble at its swelling. I'm curious, what was happening where they wrote that? Now, it could just be that they, they look outside, they see the mountains, they see the majesty of God, but oftentimes, it, we're, we're kind of wondering, like, what was the catalyst for them to write those things? We don't really know. But, but here's what I do know, is that this was a group of people, their descendants at very least, um, they, they kind of had this black spot on their family history. And, and here they are, by grace, they were saved, and, and they see the majesty of God. They see that He is a refuge. They see that He is their strength. And, and I don't know what's going on in your life, but here's what I do know is that if you have surrendered your life to Christ, you are as secure in Him. And, and regardless of what's happening, He will not lose you, He will not forget you, He cares for you, and, and that's pretty amazing. And oftentimes what happens is that when we are in the chaos, when we are in the storms of life, we're just trying to survive. And, and like a fish kind of out of water, it's thrashing around. I feel like sometimes that's what happens to us is we get in these storms and we just start thrashing around and we start, you know, just grabbing for straws and trying to manipulate circumstances. But here is, here's what's really neat. Here's what's really amazing when you look at this song. Keep going down a few verses. And, and, and after he says, God is our strength and, and we will not fear, he's our, he's our help in present trouble, look at what it says in verse 10. Be still and know that I am God. I will be, I will be exalted among the nations. I will be exalted in the earth. The Lord of hosts is with us. The God of Jacob is our fortress. Listen, again, I don't know what's going on in your life, but, but here's what I do know. Is that oftentimes when it feels like everything is collapsing in our lives, one of the best things that you can do is just pause and be still. And remember that God will be known among the nations. That, that He is your refuge. He is your strength. He is your fortress. Hey, we're not shooting today in my office. You don't see the bookshelf behind me. It's because we were shooting videos, invite videos for Easter. And I want you to mark on your calendar, uh, April 9th, 10.30 a.m. Easter services. Put a big circle around it. Be sure to invite friends, family, neighbor, uh, whoever you can. And we're going to celebrate the resurrection of Jesus. Uh, we have awesome kids programming available for birth through fifth grade. It's going to be a great time. It's just going to be a good time to celebrate the, the resurrection of Jesus. And then following the worship service, we're going to serve a light lunch and we're going to have some bounce houses. It's just going to be a good time. Great time of building community with each other. Southeast, I love you. I hope you have a wonderful week. God bless.